members of the council, I wanted to address you tonight. Uh, in preparation for tonight's, uh, for this speech, I've uh, reviewed the past year's agendas. And there's a lot of, a lot of things that have, that have gone on over this past year, and the time has really flown by. Uh, I looked at the, the first, our first meeting, and resolution number 10.01, was a, res a resolution approving an interlocal cooperative agreement for the development of a Southwest Salt Lake County Transportation Feasibility Study. Like I knew what that was. <laughs> and ordinance number 10-01 was an ordinance declaring a thousand square feet of real property as a surplus. And I just looked over the agendas and have seen all that we have, all that we have covered over this past year. And, and there's some, some great things. So. In this, my first State of the City address, I would like to review some of the major events that have transpired over the past year, look forward to some upcoming events, and look toward opportunities and challenges that, that we face right now. All right. So on, uh, on June 27, 2010, the Council passed a resolution supporting the Salt Lake Community College campus, located in Harriman near 5600 West and 118 South. And after a year of wrangling, the Salt Lake Community College campus is still decidedly going to be in Harriman City, but at a further southeastern location. And I believe that this 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 having transpired will will provide for great economic development in that area of the city. And there's still <coughs> much opportunity in in the other area, the northern area, for for economic development. So that's a that's a great thing that's happened for us over this past year. Uh, other big economic development happenings include adopting and establishing the Economic Development Committee, uh, approval of the funding mechanism for the town center, the SAA and CDA. We were able to get that passed and, and put through so that the town center can go forward. Uh, the Mountain View Corridor construction has gotten underway, which should provide a lot of economic development opportunity throughout the city. The, the census numbers were, were collected and, and are now being reported that will show Harriman as a, a city larger than 800 residents. So that, that will help us economic, in, in our economic development. And we have a McDonald's that will be opening here shortly. Craig's very excited about the McRib. <laughs> so, it, it was, that, that is a requirement. <laughs> so, uh, the those are some of the big economic development things. Obviously there's more, but, but those are kind of the highlights. The uh, big community events included uh, the opening of Harriman High School, including the, the football games and all, uh, the opening of the Harriman Library, and the opening of the Unified Fire Station 123, uh, which happened in 2011, but I'm counting that for both years. So. Uh, a summary of the year really wouldn't be complete without noting the biggest event that happened this year, which uh, was the addition of Raquel to the City Council after, the, uh, after Mick Shannon left us. Also of note, uh, there was a fire up on the hill that, that we all um, took part in. Took part in, that's a good one. <laughs> we didn't start it. We did not. The, uh, the, Hashmark Harriman Fire, as, as we so, so well know it from, from Facebook and Twitter, and, and the Machine Gun Fire. Um, we, we as a city, as residents, we pulled together uh, in, in this. Uh, as a community, as a greater area community, of our police and fire, and our, our neighbors, police and fire, all, all came together to, to really help us in, in the that are our time of need. And you really see what people are like in a disaster situation. And we saw that Harriman is a great place to be. The, uh, also the year would be incomplete without talking about our success with social media. Facebook, Twitter, iCount, YouTube. Um, we not only made a splash, but we made a tidal wave that is continuing. Uh, it's, we're, we're pushing hard to increase the amount of information our residents have and the ability for them to interact with us. So that, that's a great success. Um, this year, as all years, uh, has had its up, ups and downs. But for Harriman City, it has been a resounding success. 
I also wanted to touch quickly on what the future holds for Harriman City. We talked about the Mountain View Corridor, and that's a, that's a great thing that we hear rumblings of even December 2011 there will be traffic on the Mountain View Corridor, uh, which we we're hoping for, not expecting until, until more into 2012. But we uh, also, at some time this year, may be having a, a, ribbon, a ribbon cutting on the rec center. We keep pushing it back and pushing it back, and it may end up to be being next year. So, He's that, just joking. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're going to have that, and it's scheduled now for March 18th, and they said that's a guarantee. So, um, not like the guarantees before, this is a real one. The, uh, we should shortly see uh, the Golden Arches, so we can grab a Big Mac on the way to the rec center, and a McFlurry on the way back. <laughs> so, we have a couple of uh, new middle schools that will be starting construction in Harriman City over the next year. Uh, 5600 West will start construction, partially. The, uh, we've also, as we'll see in a, in a few minutes, we've established a youth council and, and elected a youth mayor, although this happened this year, we're counting for both years again. So, um, those are some of the, the big community things that we've, we've seen over the past year. Some, some process goals. I think I skipped something. All right. I want to... Okay, that's, that's all what the future holds. Yeah, sorry, I, skip it. I wish I had a teleprompter. <laughs> I'd be better at this. <laughs> uh, some, some process goals that we have coming for in the new year, uh, as we talked about some, some of our New Year's resolutions. Uh, <laughs> We, we have a new direc direction that we're going in the budget process that will include more input from the council and more input from, from residents. Uh, it'll be a little bit more work, but I think we'll get a lot more out of it. The, we've started implementing technology solutions throughout the city with the iPads uh, running our water system and a lot of our communication. And, and that, we believe, uh, we're looking to implement more in, in different areas, in the roads and parks areas, and which, which should uh, improve our efficiencies and lower our costs. So that has been that's been a, a great step forward for for us in Harriman City. Uh, we'll also be implementing additional transparency goals, making things quicker and easier, uh, giving quicker and easier access to to documents uh, with our next website release, which we're expecting to be this spring. So you'll you'll have quicker and easier access to documents like the budget and all the other stuff that anyone wants, we'll have it there for you. And if there's something not there, then we'll get it there. So, um, we are, are also pressing hard, <coughs> working hard to, to make our city events self-sustaining with a big push for volunteer, that, volunteerism, that's, that's the word, I can make something up. Okay, so working hard for volunteerism, um, again, with the, with the Youth Council, uh, we're going to have the, uh, the Our Town, Our Town? It's Our Town. It's Our Town initiative, and then uh, with, the, with the help of the Youth Council and some, some big pushes from, from us, we will, we will push to, to make those things um, self-sustaining. Um, by this time next year, I hope to come back with another list of successes. And Things are going great, and they're only getting better. Uh, ch some challenges we, we face over the coming year. Uh, we have the funding of 5600 West that we that will be looking at. Uh, the bond payment for Harriman Parkway is, is a big thing that, that we're going to have to budget for. We have a, the final payment for, for the <coughs> land purchase, which will be a, a big, uh, if we can get that figured out, that'll be, that'll be a big plus for us. Um, we also have an uncertain economy, a housing market, and overall development market, which, which looks good for us comparatively, but we'll, we'll see how it comes in the forward. Uh, if, we, if we take care of what we have and spend carefully, we will come out lean, ripped, and ready for the future. So, I can. This, I was going to do a impression, but Barb said not to. <laughs> so. But I can proclaim that, that the state of the city 
is strong. So, thank you.